welcome back to the channel. This is Dominique from the Pixie Planner. If this is your first time stopping by, then I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you'll stick around. But in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how I have been recently keeping track of my cleaning tasks in my small passion planner. This is the weekly version. And I have been dabbling in this a little bit the past few weeks to see how I can, um, you know, really organize my cleaning tasks a little bit better and not have to worry about making it look nice. Now, some of you will think that I'm absolutely crazy for thinking I need to have my plans looking pretty and nice, but there are some of you that also understand the um, conundrum that we go through with, um, you know, having things look visually appealing in our planners with all the pretty stickers and washi tape and neat handwriting. So this planner, and I've been a huge fan of the Passion Planner for a few years now, and I always come back to it, no matter what else I'm using. And this planner has been just my go-to for quick jotting, brain dumping, just get it on paper, don't worry about the order or neatness or prettiness of it. And um, it's really, it's never failed me. So I am, in my weekly passion planner and I'm also still using my Louis Vuitton GM that is a little bit more of kind of a whole household and personal keeper so I do have my budgeting and planning in there I don't do any budgeting in here I'll show you one thing and that's about it but enough rambling. So this video is about how I am using my passion planner to keep me on track with my cleaning tasks. I am someone that gets very overwhelmed with a cluttered home, but I also work 10 hour days and I have been finding it difficult to find a routine that really works for me. So I've tried the um, clean mama, the fly lady, who does the zone cleaning and a couple other things. And they've worked great for a little while and then my schedule kind of catches up with me and I fall off the wagon. So I really took the opportunity to just sit down and brain dump. What is it that I need to be doing daily, weekly, and monthly to keep me happy with the state of my home? So I just opened up here to the very back of my planner and you'll see here it's just quick notes that I jotted down and this is the first thing that I started with. Whenever I get you know stuck in a rut where something isn't working for me, I just grab a notebook or a piece of paper and then I brain dump what exactly I'm wanting to accomplish. So here I broke down for what I need to do daily to keep a tidy home. So not necessarily what I need to clean because I'm not cleaning every single day, but I do want to keep a tidy home and I need to do things daily in order to do that. So I brain dumped a few things. These are things that really stand out. So some areas of my house where clutter really builds up is at the front door. I have a bench and we have been just really tossing our coats on there instead of hanging it, hanging them up on um, a rack that we have in our sunroom. And so this is something where I have been thinking, okay, how can I correct this? So one way to correct it is to get one of those kind of old school coat racks, the nice tall skinny ones that don't take up much room. So I'm going to, you know, go to TJ Maxx or something and find something along the lines of that that I can keep inside the house right next to the front door. So we have another location to put our coats instead of just the sunroom. Then mail and loose papers, that always is something I think for most homes is problematic. And we really, you know, we do a good job with sorting it out uh, multiple times a week, but it piles up on our dining table. We have an open floor plan. So the dining table is, you know, combined with the kitchen and living room. So those papers can very easily pile up on the dining table. So one way I'm going to fix that is to get a wall mounted mailbox. And it's kind of like one of those wire looking ones, or they have, you know, some wooden ones that you could just neatly keep on the wall and it's not gonna be on any surface. 
Then we have my planner items, which I am super guilty about just grabbing my planner tote, bringing it downstairs and leaving it downstairs on the dining table with all the other mess scattered everywhere. So yeah, these, I'm not gonna go through every single one, it'll take forever. But these are some things that I can correct by making small little changes. Like I mentioned, just buy a small coat rack, get a wall hanging mailbox. Um, these are things where I can correct these issues and then daily it would be a lot easier for me to keep up with. So I broke down my daily area here and then what I need to do weekly to keep a clean home. Now, again, my schedule, I work 10 hour days and I'm exhausted. I, I'm a physical therapy assistant, so I'm physically just go, go, go all day long. So I'm exhausted when I get home. In the mornings, I try to catch up on my paperwork and notes. So the cleaning schedule didn't work out for me, you know, early mornings. So what I decided, I have Wednesdays off. So what I decided was I was going to split my house up. I have an upstairs and downstairs. Wednesdays, I'm going to focus on the downstairs. And then I made a list of everything that I wanted to get done on Wednesday for the downstairs area. And then the weekend, whether it be Saturday or Sunday, I'm not going to hold myself to any particular day, but then I'm going to focus on the upstairs. And this just, my, our house is not huge at all. It's just the two of us. This just kind of made sense to me. So I'm not having to clean something every single day. Like um, the clean mama routine is awesome. But again, because I'm so limited on time and when I get home from work, I want to spend time with my husband or I need to take care of, you know, the dog. I can't be cleaning something every single day. So this is a much better way of going about it for me at least I think it is I'm still you know going with it who knows I like to give things at least a good solid month of trying it out before I say yay or nay and then over here what I need to do monthly to keep a clean home so what I decided is I was going to focus on one room each month to do more of a decluttering deep cleaning organizing um, routine for each of the rooms in my home. So one room for the whole month, just really tackling it. That way I'm not having to worry about spring cleaning so much, you know, once a year or even twice a year. I'm doing a little bit each month. So these are the notes that I made in the back of my planner. So now let's flip to the front and you'll see what I've kind of done to keep me a little bit more on track with the monthly tasks. So I'm sorry if there is a glare here. I'm going to try to avoid that. You will have seen this all over the internet. These task, um, you know, cards that people are making with the page flags. So I went ahead and with my label maker, I went ahead and I labeled for each room. So that way I can just grab one of these from the front of my planner, go to my month, which here I already have the bathrooms as my focus for the month of March. And so this way I'm remembering which area I'm having to work on because beginning of the month, I'm just going to stick it right on there and I have that to refer to. And then I'll remove it and put it right back into the, the front area here. But I thought that this was going to be just a great way for me to, sorry, my dog's hair is all over the place. I figured this would be a great way for me to better keep track of what I need to do monthly. And this sticker, the sticky pocket here, I got this from, I want to say it was a Happy Scrappy kit a long time ago, and it wasn't being used. So I figured, you know what, this is a great place to keep these page flags stuck to. And it's holding some stickers that I have from the planner, the planner spot. And so I thought this was just a perfect way to make use of it for those page flags. So we have my monthly section here, and this is where I'm keeping my focus. If we turn now to the week, you will see I washi tape this insert from Pink and Posy Designs. Now, I heard of this shop through Annie Smith on YouTube. She is another planner girl, 
Her videos are fantastic. She is in a traveler's notebook and I just, I love her videos so much. She has some really great ideas and tips. So I'll leave her information down below, but I heard about this shop from her channel. This is how she's keeping track of her cleaning as well. And so this is a personal size insert. And well, the cool thing too is you can customize the um, tasks. So this is all blank when you get it and then it's editable. So you can go ahead and customize. You can change it from week to week, month to month. So I loved that idea, especially because I'm still tweaking things. So and like you could see, I've, I've written in here already. But what I started with for my daily tasks here, I wanted to try and make my bed every day. I'm horrible at making my bed. I used to tell my mom, like, what's the point? I'm just going to get back in it when I go to bed. You're not going to tie your shoes when you take your shoes off. So why would you make your bed? <laughs> I was, yeah, I hated it. So I really, I struggle with that. Um, but making the bed, wiping the counters, and that's going to be my bathroom counters, just so it's a quicker and easier task for me. Um, when I'm doing that on Wednesday or on the weekends, I'm not having to do some deep scrubbing and then checking the floors. So we have hardwood floors downstairs. I have, you know, one of those small Dyson vacuums and it's literally like two minutes, just a quick vacuum around more so the kitchen area for crumbs and then clothes away. So as I mentioned, the coats and sweaters that pile up at the uh, front door, I want to make sure that I'm hanging those up, putting them back in the closet, whatever it might be. Then here for my weekly tasks, I covered a little bit of this in um, one of my other videos where I talked about my my home binder and the fly lady routine. So every day there's some sort of routine that I naturally have. So Mondays I do laundry. So I'll start a load of laundry in the morning. I'll throw it in the dryer before I go for um, go to work. Then when I come home, I want to try to put that away. So I am making sure that I put it away. And then if I can spare 10 minutes to work in my zone, which would be what I'm doing for my month here. Now, Fly Lady does a zone by the week. And that's great and all, but I wanted to see you know, how it was for the month for me because I do need to declutter as well. I think weekly is great if you don't have any clutter. Um, but, you know, it's I think it's kind of hard when you have like a significant other or children who aren't on the same page as you for decluttering. So there's always a, a certain amount of that to deal with. So I wanted to just try monthly and see how that worked. But I'm going to try each week to at least 10 minutes in my zone on Mondays. Tuesdays, I go ahead and I update my budget and I pay bills. Wednesdays, which are going to be my days off, that's when I'm doing my filming, running errands, um, cleaning downstairs. And then I want to spend a little bit extra time, 20 minutes in the zone. Thursdays, again, a laundry day, just like Monday was. Friday, I put as a catch-all. So if there's anything that I missed from earlier in the week, I want to try to do it then. But to be honest, Fridays after work, I'm usually like out at the bar with my husband enjoying a drink and having some delicious food. So Fridays, I'm not worrying about. And then here on the weekends, I clean my fish's tank. This stands for weekly home blessing, which is part of the fly lady routine. But I don't think I'm going to keep that. I think I'm just going to change it um, like I did here. I'm going to write down upstairs as my focus for the weekend, my cleaning tasks. I'm going to update my budget and do my grocery shopping. So this is great to have at a glance. I really love having it. It's working out well. Now, if we come over here and we take a look at my time blocking that I've um, started playing with, I decided to do that because I wanted to see exactly how much free time I actually have in the evenings to do a little something. Because as I mentioned, like I'm just physically exhausted when I get home, I 
can have the tendency to just like open up my planners and get lost in my, you know, kind of creativity for a couple hours or just lounge on the couch and veg out. So I wanted to see where I would be able to squeeze in a little bit of time to tackle some of these chores. So I went ahead and I blocked out because this, when I get home, I will usually, you know, go walk the dog, do a little bit of yoga, and then I do have a little bit of free time to where I could tackle a chore. So this is my free time where I can do any of those tasks. Like I mentioned, yoga, walking, chores. So I could easily squeeze in 10 minutes at least in that section to tackle my zone. So it's just visually telling me like, hey, you feel like you don't have the time during the day, but you really do. And there is going to be sacrifice. I know that. You know, if you want a clean home, you have to sacrifice something. Last thing I want to do is have to do, you know, more physical activity that I'm not, you know, crazy about when I get home. So going for a walk, that's totally different. Fresh air, clearing the mind, but chores? Yeah, not really. <laughs> So that tells me there is some free time that I have. And same thing for Tuesday. So this week I made sure that during that time I, you know, finished the laundry and I worked a little bit in that zone. And same thing for Tuesday. That's when I did my budgeting and the bills. And then Wednesday, I kind of mapped out my routine that I wanted to have for the day. And so this section here is where I could easily get some more chores done so cleaning the downstairs and then that leaves me with the whole rest of the afternoon at you know my leisure so it's just a way for me to remind myself that there is a little bit of time in each day that I can take to work on my cleaning and not stress about not having me time um, I do have to have me time every single day for just my, I deal with anxiety. So for controlling my anxiety, for controlling and, um, keeping my mood level, I do like to take me time every single day. So that makes me nervous if I think it's taking away from that, but visually seeing it, I know it's not. So it's been really helpful. But that's a quick run through, guys, um, of how I've been making use of my passion planner to track my cleaning tasks and to just better organize my home. And I would love to know what routine do you guys follow when it comes to your cleaning? Do you clean one room every day or do you do one day of a full house cleaning? I'm always so curious, especially if you are, um, you know, a working mom or just a working individual. I'm not a mom, but um, I'm really curious to hear how you guys manage your household and your tasks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And again, leave me some comments down below. I love hearing from you. And I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.